It just looked like it was too far, but maybe, maybe it's not. I guess this thing can probably jump quite far. Maybe this. Yeah, is I mean that guy got us up there on the roof, so. Oh, he can sort of like flutter, hover as well. Yeah, he flutters. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my bad. Well, we were just right. we were just dumb. It's okay. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, it, it's just it's just my bad. We weren't stuck there for that it's long, just... thankfully. I was worried yeah, we had to look it... up a walkthrough or something. <laughs> yeah. It's always one one thing that it's just like that, that, that doesn't seem possible. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> to be fair, it didn't really My make bad. us use that flurry jump before. Yeah. So we didn't know that we could do I that. Still, I still should have seen it. But, oh well. At least we aren't blaming the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh 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 god why oh 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 there's a bunch of snowmen. Oh um, hat in time snowmen. No. Yeah. They do have the same hat as hat kids, though. They are super cute. I would like that. The hat kid hat is a pretty good hat. I'm sure, um... I mean, cosplayers would have it, but I'm, I'm sure that they'll make an official hat kid hat eventually. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it really isn't that hard to backtrack in this game. Oh, maybe my stand corrected, it might become a little bit more challenging this way. Actually, is this even possible? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say, is it? This Wait, there's secrets behind that waterfall. It's it's not it's more in the waterfall, but yes. <laughs> Close enough. It'll do. Game is G officially game is good. good. Yeah, exactly, game is officially good. We can we can confirm it now. Do all these like different titans have names or Um I think so, yeah. Uh, this one I think is called Radicate. Uh, not Radicate. <laughs> that that's a Pokemon. You, there is a there is a rat thing. How do you, how do you feel about there. Let's Go? Um, I was at first like, oh, this is not what I was looking for. Um, because I don't play Pokemon Go. Right, right. Um, so I was just like, well, this isn't this isn't ideal for me. Um. That's pretty much but, how I feel. Like I, I'm, I'm, I really don't care about it. But that's not to say like I hate it. I think it's just obviously not for like, for, we're not the intended audience. You know what I mean? And yeah. That's fine. Like, uh, what, what, what I was thinking was like it's really cool that like a lot of kids who probably only started with Go are gonna like get a chance to experience what the main games are like and become bigger fans of Pokemon. You know? Yeah. I, I wasn't like I didn't hate it or anything. I just wasn't too into it. But the more I've seen, the more I'm like, actually, this is pretty good. It looks cool. And as like a, it is pretty much like the ultimate tech demo for Gen 8. Yeah, yeah. And what that game becomes. So I'm very I just really it. hope that they do new move animations and shit. Yeah, Gen yeah. Like... I saw like a, I saw a tweet where it was comparing this to um, stadium and it's like wow there was so much love put into that game yeah it, it, it's, it's really too bad we'll never get another stadium game again well maybe never say never but well they, they talked to like this was like a, uh, a back a bit ago but like when they talked to the director of the series they were like sort of the point and appeal of those games back then was because wow your pokemon's in 3d you're seeing your pokemon battle in 3d blah 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 but now, since all the games are in 3D, there's not really much of a reason to make them, in, in, in their right. opinion. And that's like also yeah. like partially between that and um, them saying we didn't have any ideas for a new Pokemon Snap. Even though, hello, the gamepad as a camera would have been perfect, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Reach the desert. Okay, so there's, there's a desert that way, I guess. Alright. You think there's a river to in the, the desert? desert? There, there could be. <laughs> have you... Have you heard the Persona 5 remix of that song? Like the dancing one, or...? Yeah, I love it. It's... It sounds really great, but at the beginning, it's just got this, like, really high pitch, like, it's time, it could be my... <laughs> it's like, okay. Be, <laughs> but, like, I, the rest I of it's honestly, really, really good. I honestly think the, the Persona 3 dancing soundtrack is way, way better than the 5 one. Oh, yeah. A lot of, a lot of the songs incredible. in 5, not that they're bad, but they're, they're, it's just a lot of the same songs. There's actually not that many remixes on there. A lot of the songs are um, reused, 
or yeah. remix, but not as good as the original, I feel. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Um, also, but that being what said, is the, this? I, the the bundle they announced is actually a really insanely good deal, and I'm and I'm happy yeah. that they priced it fairly. Uh, am, am I seeing a relic thing here? Wow! <laughs> really? Awesome. Switch over. You're faster, I think. Well, you're more controllable. That's for sure. Yeah. That's so cool. There's a time Sweet. trial. This is pretty awesome. I can get behind this. What is that? I wonder what this gives us. I don't know. But this it one doesn't behind seem you. Too difficult. No, that's a blue one. That doesn't count. No, they're green. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the green ones only. Purple coin flashbacks. Okay. There you go. Success! Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Just crapped out a bunch of uh, money. Nice. Good stuff. Well, that's cool. Yeah, Random some fun. variety. I like that. Wasn't too difficult. Pretty fun. I can get behind more of that. Alright, well, so we have to find the spinny guy. But no, I agree. The, uh, the soundtrack for free is incredible. I love Way of Life. Yeah. I, uh, I just I'm like that they have the um, Persona Q1 remixes on there too. That's really cool. Like. Yeah, yeah. I'm... Oh, I can't wait to hear the music from Persona Q. Oh, Q2 is especially is going to be really, really good. That, the theme that's played in the trailer is just like, it's so good. Play it all, please. I want to hear it fully. Yeah, it's going to be insane because it's, like, it's, they already confirmed like who's on it. Um, and yeah. It's, it's like literally like just everyone from pre all the previous soundtracks working on it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm, uh, so, I'm, I'm surprised cool, that it's gonna be on 3DS still because I thought they would have developed it for Switch, but I'm not too like torn up about it. Oh, this is different. Treasure this is cool. Oh. Whoops, I pressed oh, the wrong <laughs> Oh, 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 nose. It literally, I, oh, that's, that's just a little antiquated, but whatever, I can forgive that. <laughs> At least it didn't have, like, a fat XD on the screen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be tilting, man. Like, it, imagine dying in a game and it just has a giant XD on the screen. I, that would actually just annoy me. Why? <laughs> how do I hover? What am I missing? Have I have I just forgotten how to hover? Apparently so. There you go. Yes, I really have. I. It's. It, it feels like sometimes it's not working. I think maybe you need to have more be. forward momentum to do it. Maybe. Because that doesn't seem like it you might just also in place. It might also not do it on areas that like are not intended. Yeah, like it, it's. It's supposed to be specific areas, maybe. Okay. Yeah, because like it didn't do it there at all. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of you. And just... Yeah, it's gonna make well. life easier. Screw it. That th this will make your life a lot easier because I'm doing it the way that nature intended, slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. We have plenty of time. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, it's giving me a solid, like, a minute and a half for something that probably doesn't need that, that long at all. But, hey, you never know, the game might be surprisingly unforgiving. Well, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it is just because we have to wait for these platforms to move, so we're taking that into account. What's with this, like, Splatoon sounding music? I was gonna say, it, it is... Yeah, I can hear that. I can hear, I can hear that, yeah. Success! I cramped out more money. I always like that the, the, the splat vests were different for um, every region. Mm. I know like the UK has had splat vest themes that the US hasn't and vice versa. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Have you like played much Splatoon 2? Yeah, I, every so often. Um, not as much as I, I probably should have. Uh, I, I haven't finished the DLC yet. Uh, I have enjoyed what I've played though. It's really cool. Yeah, I remember watching my friend. There's like a secret boss and it's like with kicking his ass for oh, hours. Oh yeah, I haven't seen anything of it, but I've heard that yeah, it does it's take like three brutal. hours. I don't know why. 
but I, I, like, I know nothing about the boss, but I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I won't spoil it. But like, yeah, it's really cool that, they, that they're that they giving so much support to it, and it's clear that like Nintendo wants it to be a serious eSport. I don't know how popular it is in the eSport realm, but they're trying their best. Yeah. It's, it, it, to be fair, it's a good competitive game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's got the potential. It's actually kind of funny that that game has legitimate patch notes. Like, they'll say like, oh, go online and check out the latest patch. But they never yeah. did that for Smash Bros. at all. They would just say, make gameplay changes and that's it. Oh, really? Yeah, anytime there was a balance patch in Smash 4, they would just, it would just be, we made gameplay adjustments and that was it. And the community had to data mine the game to find out what actually changed. Oh, wow. So I'm really yeah, hoping probably, that they're clearly that trying to cater right. to competitive players this time around. So I'm really hoping that we get legitimate patch notes. Yeah, I imagine we will. Oh, Strength Pack right. Almost maxed yeah, out on this guy. Because, like, Smash Ultimates, then you baby. The problem I have with Smash Ultimate is where do they go from Ultimate? They can't. You can't... Yeah. No, but here's, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. The way that the game is structured now, and especially with Echo Fighters, and especially with the Switch being, like, so big and gonna be supported for a really long-ass time, they're mm. probably just gonna have, like, continual updates for it. Meaning, like, balance patch, maybe some DLC characters over a year, like, over a few years spread out. Yeah. Echo yeah, Fighters probably. are easy DLC, add some costumes yeah. and stages, and that are relevant to stuff coming out, right? Oh, so it's like, it. so like, I don't know if we'll get like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or, or ARMS in the launch version, but maybe down the road in a year they'll be like, here's our new DLC of Spring Man and this stage, and then like when yeah. the new Fire Emblem game comes out for Switch, I'm sure they're just gonna put in like, here's the new Fire Emblem character in Smash Bros. You, you know what I mean? Because they yeah, always seem to do sense. that sort of shit. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like they'll have a continual update, sort of like um how Street Fighter Five had like continual updates and it had like the arcade edition release which was just an, an edition patch it wasn't an actual new version so mm. yeah fair enough, so fair i think fair. they're just gonna have like continual updates and maybe maybe they have like an updated uh port of it for whatever but i i don't think we're gonna get anything after this for a very 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 long time Cause they can, cause there's nowhere that, like we said, there's nowhere you can really go after this. <laughs> yeah, I I can't see what they could possibly do next. Um, Are we supposed wait, to? Wait, what's what's the deal? Where do I go? Is this not where I'm meant to go? Do we have to like fling I'm ourselves? I'm guessing up? no. What what is the? Should we get that glove? No, the glove just gives me more power. Okay. Um, what have I missed? I clearly missed a place. I thought I. Thought I. Is there something we can move with our psycho guy? I don't think so. The music was really ratchet and clank, sort of, but like early ratchet for a second. That was good. What more of that? Hmm. Okay. So what? What have I missed? Maybe I come here too early. Was there um could, was there any titans here that had the spinny power? No. They said that was gonna be in a desert, which we're not in yet. Maybe we we're supposed to dig for something, huh? Or I'm just checking. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. I didn't really check the digging spot because I was on my Titan and I was just like, oh, I don't need to check this. He says, lol. <laughs> okay, okay, no, we can go over here, right? Maybe? Maybe not. The water actually looks really nice. Wow, that is a really good water effect. Yeah, wow. That, and it's actually mirrored. Yeah, that's pretty that's cool. Pretty, that, it's pretty hard to do from what I understand. Like, yeah, that's why, I, um, I, imagine so. I mean, in, in back in Melee, um, why the Fountain of Dreams stage wasn't actual, like, reflections of the characters. Mm. Well, that didn't work. Oops. But we're back over here, that's what matters. Okay, well that area had nothing. I think it's just a bonus area. That's fair. Yeah, it probably is, because we're back here. And there was... There's probably a different route from here, so let's... 
Look at our map. We can. Yeah, we're still. Desert area. Desert area is somewhere over there. Okay. So I guess we'll just keep going. Alright. My bad. I well, we had extra EXP, so. Stay sharp. Not, it it, it yeah, would be worth it way. once you get the strength upgrades and stuff. Yeah, I've... Oh, yeah, there was this thing over here to the right. Which we might be able to do something with at some point. Well, maybe we'll throw TNT at it. Oh. Things are shaking. I think, uh. I think something big's coming. Uh oh. I think we got a boss. Oh, we're back here, right, yeah. This is Engine's place. Oh, yeah, this. Yes. What can I do with this? Um. Do we use question. it to jump up onto something here? I don't know. Didn't we go up there already, though? Yes, but there's. This is actually where I saw the. Uh, um, that's where I saw the platform so you can break open. I just realized that we're basically using that that mag the magnet from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hello. Yep. Yeah, this is. There we go. Okay. Yeah. This is what I saw earlier. This is the place, Crash. I think we Yay. need one of those telekinetic mutants to get inside. Yay! All right, cool. So now what? Uh -huh. Now, I mean, honestly though, what I'm seeing here is like, if you were to fuck up Whoops. and not have one of those, you'd have to go all the way back and all the way back again if you didn't have I a psychic. I imagine. Guy. Whoops. Right. I imagine the level places one at the engine's lab. You think? Yeah, the game has become. I'm being shit. Um, the game. I'm even gonna get rid of it. The game has been placing them around okay. whenever they ha haven't been showing up before, so I think they probably do. Um, I don't think the game is that harsh. Okay. It hasn't been thus far. So. Why does Why does them... knocking those things over remind me of that one Steven Spielberg game on the Wii? What was that game called? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the Steven Spielberg Steven put a game, made a game on the Wii that was like, uh, you throw shit and it knocks stuff down. You don't know what I'm talking about? Wait. Boom block? I've... Oh my god, that was a Steven Spielberg game? Yeah. Okay, I hadn't heard about this until like three days ago. When someone I watch on Twitch and YouTube uh, picked up on a bus, he streamed it. Okay. Um, it it was it was a very funny mental stream where he watched uh, I say watched he read uh, Hogwarts Exposed, which I solely don't recommend ever reading. <laughs> um, for for context, it is like the worst Harry Potter porn fanfic in the universe. Really? But like, but it's like really creepy. Oh god, okay. Like, super, super creepy. Like, it was written between books five and six, because they just hadn't been finished by the time the person wrote this story. Um, but, like, it, like... Whoa! Uh, Harry and Harry and Hermione are dating. They're professors at the school. Uh, Ron is like part werewolf now or something, and like every scene oh, has to talk about how. Yeah, every every scene has to talk about how big his fucking dick is. Like every single scene. <laughs> it, it's it, but like it goes into like sort of child porn territory. Like there's a, a fifth year student who dates Harry. Or it's, it's creepy. It's creepy as all hell. It's not okay. <laughs> It's it's not okay. That's so weird. But, but yeah, it's, oh dear, this is not going well. Oh dear. Yeah, there, there, Ow. It, it's actually like I I, I I did that dodging thing. Oh. I wasn't able to go to it because of the timing, but uh, I went to a con this summer and um, DC Douglas was there, and. Um, one of the panels he had was, uh, was, uh, like a, sh a bad fanfic reading panel where he was, like, reading it in character voices. Oh, right, nice. And, and I just imagine, like, how hilarious it'd be to hear, like, really bad smut read in, like, Wesker's voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Boom, Boom Blocks was maybe even so It was actually, like, pretty early in the Wii's lifespan, actually. Oh, yeah, it looks interesting. It was, it was weird. Well, that's our that first did not boss, go well. boss, so... Things are... Yeah, this is... Yeah, you, you this, gotta this get that strength upgrade way earlier. 
Yeah, I, I was going for another one, but I just couldn't get to it in time. But it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. I can get behind this. It's fun. Yoink. Alright, bring out the big boy. Here we go. He is he is pretty large. I'm guessing this is the spinny guy. Uh yeah, oh. I imagine. Don't forget this guy's like the Beyblade attack. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can I can do this to take him down. You Except get, I can't you get really control it. This? I don't have the most control. <laughs> it it does work, technically speaking, as a plan, but oh, oh, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that That was an end of a dragonfly moment right there. I, I it, it worked fine, don't worry, I'm alive. I'm alive, that's what matters. No! One hit is all you need! I, you know, you know it, it's just funny because um, not too long ago, one of my um, friends was like, "Hey, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be streaming a, a game just uh, to get footage, like B-roll footage for a review I'm doing. Would you want to like join in and, and just, like talk about it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, I'll help you out. What's it for?" And he's like, "I, I, I picked up Enter the Dragonfly not too long ago." I'm like, "Are you kidding? <laughs> it doesn't end." <laughs> I was like, dude, I played this game like fucking three times. I can't get away from it. <laughs> yeah, no, you'll 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 never. And escape. you know what's <laughs> funny? We saw we had glitches happen that I hadn't even seen on the times I played yeah, it with you. Oh, it's like this game keeps on yeah, giving. <laughs> you'll never you'll never escape. Like you you can't. That's not how life works. I know. Sometimes you, you life must... just isn't fair. Hey, you must constantly it's been a experience the worst of that game. <laughs> That was pretty good. I dodged him and he slapped the other one for me. Oh, can they hurt each other? What? Oh! What? Whoa! Wait, was that Whoa, supposed to happen? Whoa, this just got awesome! Was that supposed to happen? I think so, yeah. It, is there a trigger for that or did he just do that on his own? I think he broke the ground on his own. Like, the, you can see the center, central structure is weak, so I guess just after a while it'll destroy it. Man, That's we're getting our cool. asses handed. What are we supposed to do to this boss? Just. It's just about getting him after enough time. I'm not doing very well though. It's it's hard. There's gotta be something we're missing. No, it's just about getting him properly, but it's really hard to hit him effectively. I wish we had like a some sort of dodge roll, right? Um, there is a dodge button, but you just have to time it with our attacks. Okay. We're, it's nice that we don't have a we don't have like a, a live counter, right? No, I don't think so. Which is quite nice. I'm 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 really happy that they they did that for Odyssey because they wanted to yeah it's good that they were able to promote exploring. Yeah. Because you know when you when that was like one of the biggest problems with like oh man. I mean, I don't want to delve into this, but if you want to talk about games that didn't age well, holy moly, is the original Yoshi's Island abysmal, man. Oh, Interesting you say that. Interesting you say that. I've never liked Yoshi's Island. Like the games, that, the series at all? Yeah, I've never got into it. I mean... Personally. God damn this game. It suddenly got super hard, and I feel like it's very me. It's... Uh... uh we... The crash is stuck though. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, no, I've never liked the Ocean's Island games. Um, fun fact, so, you know how notoriously bad Yoshi's New Island is, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, I originally, having not played any of the Yoshi's Island series at the time, was going to do a playthrough of that game. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm sure, having not played any of the series at the time, would have gone down super well. <laughs> um, amongst fans. Um, what ended up stopping me is, oh shit, this guy just fucking uh, destroyed my titan. Um, yeah, I I was originally, yeah, I was, my plan was to basically just be like, okay, well, uh, let's, let's just play it through, get the blah blah blah. Um, I, my, one of my friends, just before I was about to go pick it up, was like, I need your help, I've got a 
like a con panel in like a day and everything is not ready for it and like can you help me i was like fine i'm fine whatever um and as it turns out because of that i didn't play it and i only afterwards heard how appallingly bad it is and i was just like you somehow managed to dodge a bullet it's just a miracle uh, have you have you heard some of the music from that game yes oh my god yes, it's like what <laughs> Welcome to the Yoshi Clan. It's probably one of the most infamous songs in all of video game history. I can I can show you a stream highlight from my channel, which will make you laugh a lot. Okay. See, um, but did you play Woolly World? Woolly World. Yoshi's Woolly yes. World. Yes, I have. So like, I, I, okay, I like that game. Yeah, so that's like that game was in a similar vein to Yoshi's Island, but it like it fixed all the problems that the series had had, especially with the, like the collectibles stay collected. It's probably the biggest one. Look at this realistic image in the top left corner for this thing. God, what the heck? Whoa! This is rad. This is rad. This game has, like, makes you feel powerful, which is really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it does. But you have to, you have to work for it, which I like. Because I feel like... There are games that like are really good about giving you a power trip, but like I feel like a lot of those games just like hand over the keys of the car immediately, you know? Yeah. It's more satisfying to earn it. Let's destroy the world. Wait, I, I think there's a doll you can get here if you don't break that quite yet. Yeah, I don't really care. Okay. <laughs> I also don't know how to get it, so... Whoa, this music's, music's really awesome! Good. Hell yeah. Damn, this is a really good song. Yeah. I'm genuinely, I, I, it's so surprising to me that I know so little about this because this seems like a really, like a genuinely really good game and like nobody talks about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, like I've heard good things about it. I've just never really gone to it. But I'm glad I am now because it's super cool.